Okay, so laying stone, this is what you gotta know. The bed joint, you don't wanna go no more than four. going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna explain to you guys the simple and easiest way all the tricks, a technique that you need to know in order to become a stone mason. Stay tuned. Let's dive right into the video. in the center here guys as an extra support whenever the pressure starts to come down on the angle iron it, it helps to bear the pressure Okay guys, let's put some brick ties now. Now we're gonna install some brick ties. over like this okay so here we have a small now it's calling for a medium so we're gonna put a medium right here the trick is you want to try and avoid putting a medium on top of a medium or a small on top of a small sometimes you might get away with it but try and avoid so what you want to do would be not here we have a full one we have a medium now, try and flush the new one that you laid in the previous one. So bring this joint all the way down. This one that's already laid. After you get your Okay, so laying stone, this is what you gotta know. The bed joint, you don't wanna go no more than four feet. And if you go three feet, three feet and a half, just like here. I, I go around two and a half feet, I break it, I put a different size. This joint here, the biggest size stone is 11 and a half inches. You don't wanna go no more than 11 and a half inches. Right now it's 11 and a half, you have to put one across and break this one. Just like so. Here you see I have here, this is the highest we are allowed to go. We have to put a different one to break it. We can put one here and continue the joint. We're gonna we're gonna go out uh, So now we're gonna put it here. A small here, so now it's calling for our medium. We gotta put a medium and bear in mind we don't want to put no more than four feet this way, so we have to put a medium stop somewhere around here. Level it. So now we're on two feet and a half. We don't want to go no more than that. So right here now we have to put either a lower one. We have to can put either small here or a big. But because we have a big here, we don't want to put a big on top of a big. So now we're gonna put a small and continue on that one. Whenever you lay in a stone, always try to match. The, the joint with the previous stone that's already laid, just like this. So you want to basically match this one with this one. That way everything looks 
nice and tidy. Another thing you want to do, you want to make sure you mix your mortar stick. When you mix your stick, you want to leave it a mortar, get you on a stone like that, you brush it off, you won't leave a spot on your stone. If you mix it too soupy, you're going to have a messy job. Bear that in mind. One option. We only have um, we have to put a medium here now. Okay, if we to put a big one, then it's gonna pass the size of the big one because you already have a small one here. So now we have to put a medium here, and then we're gonna put a small on top of this. We're gonna see what I mean in a second. See, I put a medium, and now it becomes the size of the big one. But here it's telling you that you have to put a small one right here. So on this job here, we have a lot of, we have a lot of big stone. The homeowner, the other one who purchased this stone, for some reason they like to have more big than medium and small. This one is medium, this one is small. So you're gonna see me put a lot of big ones. So by right, try and abide to a big one on top of a big one. But here I'm gonna put a let's put another big one over here. Okay, we only have mostly big right now. So I'm gonna put a big one right here. Like I said, try and abide the big on top of a big one in my opinion. I don't like it. Here and this job here we're gonna do it this way because we don't have a lot of uh, medium and small right we're doing it this way another thing I want to explain to you guys laying stone being as it's it's stone a bump here, a bump there. The way to plumb the wall, go all the way up. You want to place your finger on the back of the stone as a gauge or as a guide. Push it right here and keep on feel as you go. Make sure your finger is rubbing onto the back of the, the, the wall itself and, and touching the stone as well. That's what you're going to use to maintain the plumb go all the way up. If you're getting value from this video so far, a thumbs up. It really help you to promote the video so others can view and learn from as well. Thank you. So as you see we have a big here, we have a small here and we have a medium. The only thing we can put here right now to get to the same level as the big one like, as I mentioned earlier is a medium. In this case it's fine to put a medium come right here and then you break it back with small because you don't want to continue with medium on top of a medium. Bear that in mind. Another thing, a joint from this point here, you don't want to have no less than 4 inches. So for instance, from here over to where you're going to start a new joint, nothing less than 4 inches. That's basically how you want to have it. That way you have a, a good tie into the, to, to the joint. I have to check to see if it's clear or something. Gotta put another one here. Yeah.
Guys, we're doing a corner. I removed my 45 nail because he was in my way. But you want to put your left right at the head here. Make sure it's plump. As you see here, everything is lined up. Go all the way up. This is nine and a half. Bottom down. It's gonna be around there. You gotta remove that. subscribe button to be a part of the team we upload video twice a week sometimes three times a week thank you so guys it's a trick to use the motor really the motor stiff even if it touch onto your stone, you won't look a spot on your stone. When I 
do the draw like this guys and later on we're gonna do our wire brush gonna do it like this and let it sit there and set Bye for now.